What's good, gang? Welcome back to Uncut. All right, look. Tonight's video is about a, a subject or a topic or a matter, I should say, that's that's really um, popular right now. Um, it's something that's been going on, you know, for a long time back in the day, but is more, you know, popular or big right now in the urban communities. Um, so tonight's topic of discussion is sex trafficking. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to give you a couple of pointers, um, ideas and things of that nature that might help you guys, you know, if you are potential sex trafficking victims or to stop you from becoming sex trafficked or to stop you from becoming a victim of <laughs> sex trafficking. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're going to give you a couple things, run it down and um, hopefully you know, you know some of these. If you don't know some of these and it's new to you, take your, you know, your phone out, type it down in your notes, um, record this video, share it with somebody. You know, you could save a life. It could very well be your own or it could be someone, you know, that you know and love. So without further ado, you know, I want to introduce Bay. Bay going to help me with this one tonight. You know what I'm saying? Normally I do my videos solo, but I had to get Bay on this one because, you know what I'm saying, with all that, you know what I mean, I could see why well, somebody would want to do some sex <laughs> trafficking with that thing, you know what I'm saying? But um, anyway, that's for another video. So we're going to let Bay um, give you guys, you know, a couple of things, and I'm going to elaborate on it and give you all my take on it. So what you got for us, babe? All right, first one I got, turn on the location on your phone. All right, Mr. Apple Man. If you have an Apple, you can share your location. If you have an Android, it's a little different, but you can still share your location. It's not as easy as it is on an Apple, but you can still do it. If you're taking an Uber, you can click the, the tab to share your location, and it goes directly to the person that you select. It goes to their phone, and they can track your, they can track your ride while you're in the car. So, yeah, like she said, turn on your location, share your location. Now, I'm not exactly sure how I work with Android because when I used to be an Android user, I never used location. Uh, but on Apple, you know, I use location and um, you can share your location with whoever you think, you know, could save you in a situation. And I think like females, especially like if you're leaving the house to go to work and from work and say you don't go nowhere else, even if you leaving the house to go to work somebody can snatch you up same thing and vice versa if you're on your way home from work and you're going back to your car to go home somebody can snatch you up too so what you do is you turn on your location on your phone share it with somebody indefinitely not temporarily but indefinitely and that way they can track your whereabouts all day long this way if something happened to you you know what i'm saying they can track where you were or where you stopped at also if you have a smart watch an apple watch or an android watch and you have Smart that watch <laughs> so what you do is you um you get the service where the watch can talk to the phone this way if you happen to get abducted and they take your phone it's not that it's talking to the phone you get the it's basically like an additional um service that you get through a phone provider where you can you know leave your phone at, at home and just where you watch you can still call and text right. from your watch but having said that Let's just say you get abducted and they take your phone. Nine out of ten times, yes, they're going to take your phone, but they might not think about the watch. However, if you do purchase a smart watch, get two bands, one a little bit bigger. This way, you could be slick two steps ahead of the, the traffickers. You could take the smart watch and wrap it around your ankle like an ankle bracelet. This way, if the abductor takes your phone and you got location on, you can still be tracked from your watch so if your watch is still on you can still be tracked from your watch and nine out of ten times a trafficker or an abductor is not going to think oh let me check her ankle to see if she got a a, a smart watch on her on her or ankle you know what i'm saying so we could turn off the the smart watch they're not going to think of that most times crooks are dumb so what do you got i mean i think that one is a little bit excessive to turn your smart watch into an ankle bracelet but it's, it's not a bad idea. That's what I would do. It, it's not a bad idea. Check for the child lock when you're going in um, an Uber or in Lyft. If, when you're going in, if it's up, that means it's off. And if it's down, that means that the child lock is on. But if you can't see that, what I was reading online is that you can 
check the door, close it and open it. But the only way to close it and open it is if you're in the car. But if you're already in the car you and got... there's a child lock on there, you can't get out. So what he was suggesting was put the windows down. Well, what I suggest is that if you're getting an Uber or Lyft, one, you always get behind the driver because this way, if you get in there and the door is locked or something, you have the advantage over the driver. If you sit in across from the driver, they can reach and grab you from the opposite side. But if you sit directly behind the driver, you can choke them, you can stab them, you can gouge their eyeballs out or whatever have you and try to make your move or whatever. And you can potentially reach over to their side of the control panels and reopen your door, you know what I'm saying? If need be, you know, if the child lock's not on. But, um, what, what you do what you window? do is with the window is you roll the windows down first and then you um try to open the reach your arm in through the window and try to open the door from the inside of the car but standing on the outside because if you get in the car first and then try to check the door the door is already locked if the child lock on you can't get out therefore you open the door, roll the window down, shut the door, and then reach into the window and open the door. Now, if the door opened, I mean, the child lock is not on. You can proceed with your ride. And like she said, share your location with somebody the entire ride. You know what I'm saying? And when you know the car is coming up, which is also a good tip, take a picture of the vehicle and the, the license plate. Like, you know, sneak behind and then just well, you don't take have, a quick it, picture. You don't have to sneak, but what you can do is on the app, it tells you the license plate. So make sure you're checking that the license plate on the car is the same license plate that's on the app because it tells you the color of the right. car and the license plate. Yeah, make sure the license and plates the match up. And the person driving. You know what I'm saying? They try to be, you know, as efficient with stuff like that, but people who are these days are just sick. So, yeah, do that. So what else you got for us? Um, When you get in your car, like you're coming from the mall or you pull up to the house or whatever... I know I'm a person that does this and it's a really bad habit when I pull up to the house or when I'm going somewhere, I sit in the car before I pull off or before I get out. Yes, it's you a do. It's really bad habit, but it can also be very dangerous. So you, that's something that I need to cut out and that's something that you might not want to do, especially, you know, in a parking lot, I mean, or a parking garage, you sit in there. This person could be already in the car. He could be plotting to come get you, you know, so it's like. Don't just sit there. Get in your car, pull off, pull out, Let's, and just go. And also what you do is, I don't know if your car can do it, but I know, her, you know, or if everybody's car can do it, but I know my car can't, but I know her car can, is where you got the key uh, fob or the key remote. What you do is you make sure that when you hit that button, that only your door opens. Mm -hmm. Her car does it, mine don't, but make sure only your door opens if your car does have that feature. Because one press opens the driver's door, two presses opens all the doors. That's how hers work. So, uh, you, you know, I once saw that when she hit the button one time, all the doors opened up. But I told her, I was like, yo, that's kind of suspect because what have you been chased and you want to get into the car? You hit the alarm. Yeah, you can get into the car, but you opened up the door for, you know, somebody else to get in from the other side. You know, what if they on the other side of the car? I mean, everybody's car might not do that. But... Right. How I found mine is that you got to go in the settings and you go in the settings and I think it was like under keys or something, keyless entry, and you can customize it to where the key fob does that. That's how I did mine. Yup. And so you can do it like that. This way, when you hit the button one time, it only opens up the driver's side door. And if they're on the other side of the car or trying to reach for the back or the passenger door and they pull on that handle, it's not going to do nothing because only your door opens. Therefore, you can get in the vehicle safely. And then relock your door and then haul ass. So my tip for the girls who sit in their cars who, you know, don't pull off. Make sure you lock the door when you get in. Push that lock button. I mean, we still got to break out of our bad habit of sitting in the car. But make sure you lock the car right after you get in. And another thing that I want to say is that also, especially at nighttime, um, Make sure that the overhead lights work when you open up your car door for the front and the back of the car when you hit that remote on your car. Because what happens is a lot of people, they get into their car and they don't check the inside of the car. What if somebody is following you 
and they saw you going to Walmart or they saw you going to the nail salon mm -hmm. and they waiting for you. So they said, you know what? Let me break into a car, lay down in the back seat. So when she get into the driver's side, I could pop up like Jack in the box, put the knife or the gun to her neck or her head. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And abduct her. So think about that. When you hit that button, make sure the lights come on in the front and back of your car and inspect the back seats because you never know if somebody already pre-broke into your car before you got there and they might be waiting for you. So that's also something that could save your life. Just as simple as checking the car and making sure your lights are on when you hit that button. Yeah, that one you can do like from in the car. It should be like, mine is right in front of the rear view mirror where you can touch the ceiling and put it on doors or what's the other one? Doors or off. Right. Yeah. Um, another tip is, um, you get in your car and somebody's already in the car. Step on the gas, run it in somebody else's car, tree, whatever, because more than likely the airbag is going to fuck that person up that's behind you. So that will get you out of a situation. You will get to get out. And even if, God forbid, you, don't, you aren't able to get out, neither one of you going anywhere. And if you hit a tree or if you hit somebody else's car, nine out of ten times somebody else is going to be around and see something. Or they'll get out the car and be like, yo, dude, like, why did you hit my shit? You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then you'll be like, oh, this mug right here, he abducted me or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So that could save your life. It's better to just mess up your car and just hit something opposed to be obeying. Kidnapped. Yeah, obeying with the kidnapper saying being kidnapped. You know what I'm saying? So would you rather fix your car or yourself in the afterlife? You know what I'm saying? So that's another one right there. Yeah, the other one is about your elbow. Oh, the strongest point on the body. <laughs> you can use your elbow to go up, left, whatever. Strongest point on your body. Yeah, strongest point on your body is your elbow. So if you got an elbow, mofo, you know what I'm saying? Drop them bows on them like Luda, you dig? All right, another one. Say you do get kidnapped by these sex traffickers and they throw you in the trunk. Any car made after 2002... Has a lever that you can pull in there. Most of them, they glow in the dark. Some don't. Some glow in the dark green. Most yeah. of them, mine is green. I think mine is green. I'm not sure. It's the emergency trunk release. So what you need to do is go out to your car, open the trunk, and when you open the trunk, look right there in the center of the top part of the trunk and see if you have that emergency release Some bottle right there. Some of them you have to feel for. It. It's not as prominent as yours. Like yours is. You have to feel for it. I didn't even know that shit was in there. He locked me in the trunk and made me try to figure out how to get out. And that was before this whole thing happened with the girl that jumped out of her trunk. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 you know, something was just like, you know what? Tell her to come outside and get in the trunk yeah. because something was just telling me, like, I need to show her that in the event that she ever ended up in the trunk of a vehicle, how to get out. And this was before, you know, this is sex like trafficking was on social media. Yeah, I mean, sex trafficking has always been on social media, but I think like now it's like- It's popular. It's out there a lot because it's happening a lot. Especially in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, people getting kidnapped from bus stops, parking garage, you know, and you name it. So you just gotta be careful. We in PA, so yeah. it's not, as popular here but it does happen here and it, it has been happening around the globe you know what i'm saying especially in third world countries too it's especially popular you know they'll see like people from the united states come over there and they know a foreigner when they see one you know like you're foreign in their territory so they prey on people that's not familiar with their surroundings once they enter a third world country and you easily become a victim so you can use some of these tips you know over there also and it can help save you you know what I'm saying? So think about that too. Yeah, there's for people who like to go run off from the hotel because it's not, it's not experienced in the culture enough. Like, no, you go with a tour guide, you go on them tours. All right, not going wandering off by yourself in Mexico or Costa Rica or DR, wherever the hell it is, because that's just asking for trouble. And another thing I want to add, like ladies, you know what I'm saying? The first, the first thing that came to mind when I thought about this was the first thing that I ever gave her oh, technically nice. as a gift. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that was the first present I ever gave her was a knife. It was a pocket knife that I had. And I said, Cause he was take bored, this. Because where my apartment was at the time was like in a little cut, you know? I mean, I mean. I she lived scared. in a shady area. Let's just say that. Yeah. And I figured by giving her this pocket knife, it would help her, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> if she had to try to open up her apartment door because 
the way it was set up, her apartment was in a freaking dark alley. It was it was in the back of the house. So it was like a house, but it had different units, and mine was in the back. So you had to go around Shady the side of the USA. house. You had to go around the side of the house or come through the back, which the back was an alley. So, I mean. <laughs> had I been an abductor, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And I saw all that ass peeking out. I definitely <laughs> would have got my abduct on, you dig? <laughs> but um, also, um, females or ladies, ladies, I should say. I don't want to say females because I don't want to get my ass kicked when the camera go off. <laughs> but anyway, ladies, what you need to do is learn how to exercise your right to bear arms properly. Everywhere, you know, we go. It's different laws in every state. In our state, you're allowed to carry. In the state of Pennsylvania, some other states like New York, New Jersey, you might not be able to carry. But, however, learn how to use a pistol and get yourself a pistol that's small enough to fit in your pocket. This way, when you leave in a house or you leave in your car, you already got your pistol in hand. Put it in your pocket. If somebody run up on you or creep up on I mean, you, women, you don't have, have little, to worry. You, most girls always have a little purse, so... You don't put it in your pocket. Put it in your little purse. No, 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 no. Put it in your pocket. Our I pockets say put it aren't in your deep pocket. enough for a damn gun. I say put it in your jacket pocket because what happens is if you put the gun in your purse and somebody creep up on you, now what? You got to worry about reaching their purse. Huh? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You already dead by then. Or you already abducted. So have your gun in hand, something small enough, uh, you know, to conceal or small enough to carry in your purse. This, I mean, in, not in your purse, in your uh, your pocket. This way you got it in your hand already with your hand already clutching the trigger. This way when you opening up the car or you opening up the house or wherever you're going, you know what I'm saying? And somebody try to creep up on you, you don't have to worry about reaching for your gun. Your gun is already in your hand. All you got to do is just turn towards the direction of the attacker and squeeze. You don't have to pull it out. Just fire through your clothes. You can get a new jacket. Mm -hmm. Just make sure that the barrel is pointing at the suspect. Nine out of ten times, they're never going to see it coming. They're going to hear shots. And next thing you know, they're going to be bleeding on the ground. And then you immediately call 911 and let them know that you shot somebody in self-defense because you was being attacked. If you put your, your goddamn gun in your purse, they're going to get your ass because you're going to be panicking. And the first thing you're going to do is probably try to run before you even reach for the purse. And what if they already got their gun or their knife in their hand? That means that they went up on you. This way, you know, you can just fire immediately and you don't got to worry about reaching for anything because you already be one up on them when they thought they was one up on you. Mm. I guess. Mm. But if you don't want to go to the extreme of carrying a gun, there are a bunch of different ways out there. You can get a taser with high voltage. You can get pepper spray. You can get mace. All that shit works. It's just as effective. Because if I spray a motherfucker in his eye, he ain't going, what, what, what she's going to do? If I spray him in his eyes, I'll be able to run, right? Or you can always learn judo and judo chop a motherfucker. <laughs> but, um, that's pretty much it for this video tonight. You know what I'm saying? I hope that, you know, some of these things that we spoke about, you know, help you guys, uh, or it can help somebody that y'all know. And, um... It's, it's real out here. This is something serious and always be aware of your surroundings. You know, don't park your car near no vans uh, or buses or don't park your car. If you, you, you know, you see somebody sitting in a car, you know, particularly a male. I mean, females there's a lot of help women, too. There's a lot of women who that that's how they're doing it. Like they get the women to lure the other women. Like, right, yeah, they get the, they the woman going, to lure another woman. It's not just like back in the day when they used to just grab evident. you and throw you in the freaking in the van. Like. They're doing things like super strategic now. Like, I heard about the other one in the freaking mall women. Well, it was two uh, Mexican women or whatever, and they was like luring girls out the mall and abducting them or whatever. But they got court, and it's it's crazy, man. So or sometimes you know, women are set who, set up other women or because they're scared. They'll try to sell you perfume, and when you smell it, not yeah. Up. Don't don't have if, if anybody name? trying to sell you perfume, whether you outdoors or somewhere. In a shady area, you know what I'm saying? When you smell it, it might be chloroform. So yeah, if it's chloroform, right. you're going to pass out immediately. So never smell perfume when you know somebody's trying to sell you perfume on the streets. Never. That's a no no. Word. He's going to close his out right now. <laughs> but <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel and make sure you share and make sure you share the video because this might help save a life You might 
save your own life or you might save someone else's life because you shared this video mm -hmm. and turn on that notifications bell so you can be the first to know not the not last, the last. <laughs> and uh we'll see you in tomorrow's video well i'll see you in tomorrow's video this is my channel she gotta start her own shit because she ain't gonna be blowing up all my <laughs> shit for real dog for real you know hey, what i mean you need some of all this chocolate over here well when she start her channel i'll drop the links to her channel <laughs> down below in the comment section but as of now this video is over i'm out we're gonna cut this shit off because i ain't got time for no free advertisements okay.